Bob Gable says they canceled the greatest show on earth, Barnum and Bailey Circus. Now all those freaks are out of work. Ooh, that's a great point. Uh, they did that because of that elephant that busted out. You know that, right? No, I didn't know that. What happened? Yeah, there's a documentary on Netflix. There's this crazy elef elephant had enough one day and just started rampaging and got out. And the police couldn't kill it. <laughs> it's wow. not funny. People died. It was like an abused elephant. And after that, like circuses couldn't have elephants. And because circuses couldn't have elephants, it basically put Barlam and Bailey out of business. I, I like the idea of a rogue abused elephant going crazy and uh, killing people. It'd be a lot like John Millen's idea for Tank Heist. It hmm. was a lot like Tank Heist. Hear me out. Oh, Ready? Nice. Hear me out. Elephant. Uh, and uh, it is uh, like. Elephant. <laughs> and it's an Wait, elephant. No. <laughs> Hang on, dude. My rib hurts. Stop. Elephant. Elephant is the name of the project. <laughs> yes. Uh, and uh, of course, you know what it is, is it's an escaped circus elephant who's been abused and he goes on a killing spree. Sexually? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe sexually abused too. Dude, um, right here on his forehead, he's got like uh, whatever that uh, that devil star thing is. Pentagram. Like, <laughs> ah, yeah. uh, he sold his soul. Yeah, he sold his soul to the devil to get his revenge on all the uh, all the townsfolk. No, he sold his soul to the devil to not be afraid of mice mm. or peanuts. Elephant. Peanuts. No, he sold it for peanuts. Oh get my it? god. Yeah, he sold his soul for peanuts. Uh, and then... You, you... <laughs> and I want him to just walk through. I want him to be basically like Michael Myers or, you know, uh, I want him to be that kind of a character who's just that kind of a movie. <laughs> Hanging out in, in, in closets? <laughs> no, you know what? I take that back. An animal movie, Cujo. You want it to be more like Cujo. Oh, yeah. He's got people trapped in the house. They can't. They can't leave. There's a fucking elephant outside. It's a rogue, crazy elephant with blood in its eyes. It's you know, an elephant. And, yeah, and it, like its hoofs are like have like fucking fire like, smashed clowns underneath them. No, yeah, every time he steps, there's like a flame footprint behind. Like he's mm -hmm. like leaving elephant footprints, but they're flaming. Yep. Oh, I love it. Uh, by the way, elephant, watch. It's going to become a movie because I said it. You know, uh, this is the whole thing. You know, I get I, people watch this show and they steal stuff from me all the time. Mm. So uh, anyway, that's just me. I'm I'm an idea machine, Shane. So so, uh, anyways, uh, the ending and this would influence elephant. If you go watch this documentary, is is they're shooting the shit out of this elephant and it's down on the ground. But the trick is, is they couldn't pierce its skull. Nobody had an elephant gun, so that's yeah. why it was inhumane. Is Besides the abuse, is that the local authorities are just unloading clip after clip and and shotgun, and they can't get the thing to die, and it's just laying there on the street, taking multiple shots, and they can't kill it. it it's, well, yeah, it's uh, powered by hate. It's powered by hate. Elephant yeah. vengeance never forgets. Two hundred watts to do it. <laughs> <laughs> He's already oh ready. To you gotta line. work in the crows from uh, Dumbo in there somehow, though. Mm. They gotta come back. Yeah, I just see. Uh, I honestly, people are like thinking he's like magic, like mystical or evil, and so no, he's an abused elephant who's on the rampage. It's tank heist, but with an elephant, and the elephant <laughs> is going around the town like spearing people with its tusks and everything, <laughs> like stomping on. <laughs> I like. I want him to like to squash circus clowns, and then to just go nuts in a small <laughs> suburban town, you know, and just start fucking. And you just see the silhouette, you know, on like a kid's like, Ooh, and the bike, and you see the silhouette of the elephant's like head and its tusk and trunk and everything. Oh, it's Arr! like Jaws. Yeah, very much like Jaws. Nice. Elephant is coming to town. Yeah, he's gonna get revenge. <laughs> And I, I guess he would be dressed like in circus gear, which would make it really sad because, you know, it's like he's still dressed like he's a good time, but he's not a good time. You know, he's got the blanket and the, the weird uh, head gear and everything that a circus elephant mm -hmm. would have, but it's spattered in human blood. Um, yeah, I can actually I can I can picture this. 
Like the more, you know, we'd have to do a design for Hellefent so that like his circus costume almost becomes like a Michael Myers kind of costume. You know what I he mean? He should have like yeah. dead clowns hanging from his tusk. Like they're just impaled on there and rotting. Like he's not even taking them off. Yeah. And that, this is just a, a, a trillion dollar idea that we came up with here, guys. It's amazing. Because, you know, most of the serial killers that we uh, we enjoy mm -hmm. uh, in movies. Fans uh, of their work. Uh, yeah, they're they're like uh, humans. Or they they look like humans, but they're really, you know, maybe the devil, they're ghosts, they're mm -hmm. demons. I don't think there's ever been, there's a shark serial killer, there's Jaws. But yeah. uh, is has there ever been an elephant uh, or like a recurring animal serial killer character? Like we can do for elephant. elephants what Jaws did for Great Whites. Well, Cujo, there was Cujo, but that's not reoccurring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like no, because Cujo was just a normal story. Like elephant would we would turn elephant into like a we could do branding there could be an action figure because his costume would be unique it'd be covered in blood you know spattered in gore and everything like that but it, he'd look like a pissed off like abused circus elephant and by the way i think we could pretend to care about elephants too uh when we make this movie and get sponsored by PETA. <laughs> like we could actually say wow. like oh we really care about like we're anti-circus we care about these animals that are being abused that's why we made this movie like we could probably yeah. be complete phonies and get a little bit of like uh, government money, government yeah. money maybe, yeah, or or just uh, Peta would throw a little, uh, throw a few books uh, bucks our way. If yeah, we play this right. Yeah. Pamela Anderson would endorse it. Well, we could even have a lot of it just take place right there at the circus. Like you know, he could be doing the show, selling his soul right there, and then killing the audience. Like that'd be a, that'd be a huge set piece, right? Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah, I, I, there's a lot we could do, guys. John, I mean, the, I mean, is this as good as Tank Heist? It's almost as good. Um, yeah, yeah, this is good. <laughs> Just as good, if not better. Yeah, I, there's a lot to think about here. We could give uh, him a sidekick, like a little monkey sidekick, maybe. Oh, oh, he's got little symbols. Yeah. Well, I don't think he'd be a sidekick. Uh, I think that he would... Why are we being discouraged? <laughs> by non-creative people. Mm -hmm. Tornadwatch Studio says, Elephant, you'll never go on safari ever again. Yeah. I think the little monkey might actually work on humanity's side. Like, he'd be the good guy. You know what I mean? He'd be like... <laughs> like he'd be trying to warn people that Elephant was... <laughs> he'd be like, oh, cute little monkey. Uh, and like you don't realize the monkey is really trying to help human beings because he's closest to human beings. You know <laughs> so what I mean? He's trying to bargain with the elephant, like no, no, they mean well. They don't know. No, who is uh, who's the psychologist from uh, Michael Myers's? Uh, uh, oh yeah, 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 Dr. yeah, Loomis. yeah. The mm -hmm. monkey would be Doctor Loomis. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> it's from hell. Don't you understand? Like the little monkey would be like screaming, like he's the devil. He's evil. You just see the elephant come charging in, like uh, Hellevent versus Hellopotamus. Says uh, Bearwolf thirteen. We need to uh, come up with that. That's like, yeah, Hello Hellopotamus. That sounds like a friendly. Uh, what would uh, be better? The Hellopotamus is the good guy. No, Hippopocalypse would be the uh, <laughs> <laughs> elephant versus Hippopocalypse. <laughs> Uh, would be uh, where we're going with us, Shane. Listen, there's a lot we could do. Uh, we can make this work. <laughs> there's a whole zoo. Uh, comic book one points out Hella Gator. Mm, uh, Hella Gator I mean, yeah. like, you know, it writes itself. Mm. Hippopocalypse. <laughs> Hippopocalypse. <laughs> it even looks good in print. Oh, shit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't see why. I honestly don't see why. Uh, Tiny Baby Sloth says, LMAO, damn, Ethan is a genius. Well, mm. I'm drinking, I'm having a couple of drinks. You know, it helps to loosen up the brain muscles. Shane, how come your brain muscles are so tight? Where's your liquor? I'm out. Are you out of liquor? Oh, actually, I got a little drip. 
little grip in there. It's all right. A uh, monkey is a harbinger clapping its symbols before an attack, says Twin and Watts video. That's pretty good, too. Oh, yeah, I like that. Like, you start hearing the little ching, ching. Yeah, it gets no, louder and louder. That makes yeah, that he'd be he'd imitate like the Jaws music or the Michael Myers music, you know, with the the thing. But he's also mm -hmm. kind of like Silver Surfer before Galactus, right? Yeah, yeah, kind of. I would say that, but like Silver Surfer was scouting. Did Silver Surfer ever warn people like, "Look out, Galactus is coming, and he's a fucking asshole"? Like, wasn't he just he's going? No, this world looks delicious, Go, boss. This is isn't that what Silver Surfer was doing? That's what he was. Yeah, he would exert the energy looking for a planet instead of Galactus. Mm, yeah, Amber it says Gore Illa. Mm. <laughs> a lot of good ideas out there. Uh, mm -hmm. Some pigs never learn. Elephant will be the villain in a future book I write. You'll be thanked in the acknowledgement section. Uh, thank you. Wait a second. Uh, all right, hold on. That's how quick it happens. Yeah, I'm telling you. And do I receive thanks? Almost never. 